Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about input and output functions on files or it is also known as input and output operations. So mostly it is known as reading data in a file and writing data into a file. Okay. So here it has uh, some operations. Those are put C, put car. Okay. Next get C, get car like this. So the first one is put C. Okay. So this is the function which is used to write single character into the file. So if you want to enter the data that is single character into the file, you need to use this function put C. So here put C function, it is a predefined uh, function which is used to enter one single character into the file. For suppose this is a file in your system. Okay. So this file name is FP. Okay. So this file name is FP. So here it contains uh, some data. So if you want to write one single character, if you want to include one single character into this file, that is a if you okay into this file you need to use put c okay so here put c the character i want to add is h comma fp okay so here fp is the file name h is the character that you want to include so the character is written into the file okay so the next one is get C. So you need to read the if you want to read the single character from the file, you need to use this get C function. Okay, so here this function is used to read a single character from the file. Okay, only one single character from the file. Suppose this is the FP file and it contains some characters. Okay, so C is equals to get C get c fp so if it will return one single character either h or a whatever the character in that file it will return only one single character okay so let's see some more input and output functions so next one is puts so puts is used to return one single character so here puts is a function which is used to write a string into a file okay so puts is used to write only single character into the file suppose this is a fp file so i want to include one string string is nothing but collection of characters okay so collection of characters is known as string so if you want to include the string into the fp so the syntax is puts so i want to include hello comma fp fp is the file name so hello is included into the file okay so the next function is gets so puts function is used to write one string into the file as well the gets function is used to read one string from a file okay so here s yes is equals to gets fp so in fp file it will return the string okay collection of characters it will return collection of characters okay the next one is put w so this function is used to write an integer value into a file so here we already seen that one character how to write one character next how to write one string next how to write one integer value okay so if you want to include integer value either 10 152 okay whatever the integer value you need to use put w okay w4 integer values put w int a comma fp okay so in this file whatever the value in ten, uh, a suppose a is equals to 10 so the 10 value is included into the file okay next one get w so get w function is used to read 
an integer value from a file. So here the syntax is int a is equals to get w of fp. So in the fp file the integer value will be returned and stored in a a int a is equals to so whatever the value from fp file those that is integer value that will be returned and stored in a variable a okay next some more so here one more important function is f printf okay so this function is used to write all type of data into a file either alphabets digits special symbols okay all the data into the file all types of data okay so whatever you want okay either integers float string characters okay so here the syntax is f printf okay f printf next fp is the file name comma control string so control string is nothing but percentage d okay so percentage d is used for integers percentage f is used for floating points so if you want to enter the collection of characters okay so if you want to enter the collection of characters that is string so if you want to enter one paragraph into the file so then you need to use percentage s because it is a collection of strings okay so fp is the file name okay next control string is nothing but percentage d percentage f percentage s percentage c so those are known as control strings for integer we use percentage d for floating point data type we use percentage f for string we use s for characters we use c okay so if you want to enter the integer values you can use percentage d if you want to enter the string values you can use percentage s if you want to enter character values you can use percentage c okay according to your requirement you can use any one of the control strings so in the above fp is a file pointer associated with a file and has been opened for writing okay so fp is a file pointer which will stores the address of file okay next one is control string specifies the format of specifier okay so either integer character string floating point it will specifies the format next list represents the name of variable okay so list represent the name of variable so what variables are there so so here see the example f printf fp percentage s percentage d so i want to include one string and also one integer so whatever the value in name that will be stored in file okay that will be written in a file next whatever the value in h that will be stored in fp okay for suppose name contain name is equals to rahul okay and next age is equals to some 18 okay so these two values in a name it contains rahul and in age it contains 18 so those are added written into the file okay so by using f printf you can include all the you can write all the types of data into a file okay so if you want to read any data from the file okay if you want to read any data from the file you need to use f scanf okay so f scanf function is used to read all types of data from a file okay so all type of data either integer character string floating point so let's see the syntax so here f scanf is used for reading data from the file fp is the file pointer next here control string so what type of data you want to read either integers or characters or strings okay so next list you can include the variable names so example is 
so here one more point you need to remember list represent variable name with address operator okay with address operator because so here address operator is used to get the data from that address okay so let's see so here it is a file and here it contain name and age so these two are stored in some specific memory location in a file okay so every memory location contains some address yes okay so here fp is a file pointer next i want to read the data which is string data type and integer data type okay so that's why i'm specifying format specifiers those are percentage s and percentage d so next ampersand name so ampersand name means address of name so here whatever the value in this address so that will be returned okay next whatever the value in this address age address so that will be returned okay so in this way you can perform all the operations those are input and output operations on files okay so you can write one single character or you can read one single character and you can write one string collection of characters or you can read collection of characters next you can write one integer value or you can read one integer value next you can write all types of data okay collection of all types of data into the file or you can read all types of data from the file so these are the important input and output operations reading data and writing uh, data into the files okay i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you